dear stars, welcome back to the channel, or if it's your first time here, welcome. This is Gwendolyn, and this video is going to be about the new moon in Leo that we have happening on July 23rd, early in the morning for the U.S. Uh, it's 5.45 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, 2.45 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, and that's going to be happening at zero degrees Leo. So there's some things I want to talk about with um, the degree that it's happening at. It's what's called one of the critical degrees along with 29 degrees. Um, and there's a lot of planets in fire. You can probably see that here. A lot of major ones in Leo itself, which is all about uh, the solar plexus. It's about creative expression. Leo is when we stand up on stage and shine forth like the sun. It's radiating energy. It's fire energy. It's boldness, confidence. Um, Leo is all about expressing ourselves and in a creative way, taking action. And because the sun and the moon are both conjunct with Mars, which is the planet also of action. This has a lot of creative potential energy behind it, a lot of force, a lot of drive. It's a very potent moon. So I'm going to be talking about all those different things and then we'll get into what it means for each sign. So one of the things I noticed for this chart also is that there is a trine in fire. We have the sun and the moon and Mars all conjunct here. Um, but the planets that are involved in the trine are Uranus in Aries here at 28 degrees Aries. We've got Saturn in Sag at 22 degrees. And those are all trining um, Mercury here in Leo, the planet of communication at the, some of the very last degrees, 26, 56, almost 27 degrees Leo. So whenever trines show up, that's a harmonious energy. It means that things in that element are working together. So, and this, this uh, Uranus and Aries is also aspecting the sun and the moon. So that gives a, um, an unpredictability to this moon energy. Um, and also with Mars squaring Uranus, it's an unpredictable fire energy. So it's like when a forest fire is burning and then another little fire pops up unexpectedly in a different area. It's, it's sort of like uncontained fire. It can go in any direction. Um, and Uranus has the effect of making things surprising, out of the blue, revolutionary. It's, it, there's going to be a feeling of wanting to rebel against something, wanting to go outside the boundaries, um, wanting to kick up your heels in, a, in an area that has felt confining before. So there might be a need to do that when this new moon is coming up. Also, because it's happening at zero degrees Leo, Zero and 29 are both what's called critical degrees, and they sort of have extra power within the sign that they fall in. The way that I like to talk about this is using the image of a cresting wave. When the wave is building and it comes up to just before it crests, that's sort of like the 29th degree, the last degree of the sign. And then when it just is breaking over into the next sign, that's sort of like the zero degree of when it's just crossing into the next sign. So when that wave is um, happening, when it's just getting to that point of cresting, it's sort of like the, the 29th degree going into the zero degree of the next sign and there's the most potential energy in each of those degrees. So if you think about the height of the wave, it's the highest at the moment before it crests and just when it's cresting. So it has a lot of energy behind it. And we've got the sun, the moon, and Mars right there conjunct at the beginning of Leo. Um, so there's a lot of potential energy here developing in this new moon in Leo. And we're also going to see this echo. This is sort of like a precursor to next month's new moon in Leo. We've got two new moons in Leo, which is somewhat rare, but What's actually very rare is that um, next month's moon is going to be a solar eclipse, a total solar eclipse in Leo. So um, there's lots of good stuff going on here. That's going to be August 21st that we'll see that. 
solar eclipse happening. But for this new moon, this is like a precursor to that. It means um, with all, all these planets in Leo, the sun, the moon, with Mars, with the communication planet Mercury, all in Leo, that's four major planets. Plus we've got the North Node in Leo. So there's a lot of creative force, creative expression. And Leo centers around the heart. Leo centers around um, courage. If you think about the French word for the heart, it's cur. That's where the, the word courage comes from. So it's heart energy that's expanding and radiating outwards. If you think about a lion, um, that can help you get a sense of what this energy is like. Creative expression, I will, is the motto of Leo. It wants to create, it wants to participate, it wants to stand on the stage and roar forth. So it's heart energy that is governing everything. Um, it's about taking action, growing a new heart, having new, discovering new courage, enjoying yourself. Leo's love to throw a party. Leo's love to enjoy the best of everything. So that's also Leo energy. The Sabian symbol for one degree Leo um, is under emotional stress, blood rushes to the head. So it's actually taking this heart energy and because there's so much of it, it's, it's overshadowing and it's overtaking our mental energy. So it's really leading from the heart. So whatever that means for you, uh, whether you're growing a new heart, whether you're taking new action on something, whether you're discovering a new courage, or whether it's just enjoying yourself, this is a wonderful time to begin something that has those themes. New moon in Leo. Mars, the energy of the warrior planet is supporting this. Um, and then we've got this trine in fire that also includes Mercury, planet of communication. It's very, it's sort of like, what do you want to do with this fire? Fire can be destructive. So there is the potential that we could see surprising flare ups. It could be a time of annoyances. There could be um, displays of anger or violence because that, that warrior planet Mars is conjuncting this. But if you think about fire, it could either be destructive or it could be very constructive. It can be, it's an element of enthusiasm, of passion, of optimism, of getting things done, of vitality. So think about this as um, a new spark, like lighting a match. What do you want to do with that lit match? You can either, it can either be destructive and unbridled or contained, it can power something. So that's the constructive use of fire, new passion, new energy, new vitality, new courage, new heart energy. So that's kind of the overview of this uh, new moon in Leo. We're gonna, again, we're going to be seeing the next echo of it next month uh, with that solar eclipse August 21st. But I'm going to go through each of the signs. And the question I just have for you this month is what do you want to do with this new match that is struck. Uh, that's the image of this new moon in Leo. It's sort of like having a new fire, a new torch, and go, where do you want to go with it? What do you want to ignite with it? So I'm gonna go on through each sign and talk about what this new moon in Leo uh, means for each sign. So for Leo, this new moon in Leo is happening in your first house of the self. So what this means, Leo, is that you could be, um, experiencing a new you a new a lot of fire a lot of energy a lot of vitality in coming forth and expressing yourself expressing a new you a new self um, a new version of yourself it's almost like i'm getting for you leos here with this new moon in leo conjunct mars is that you're kind of going from like a kitten energy to lion energy if if there's something in you that has been um, held back or there's something new that you want to express I really get with this new moon in Leo sort of growing a new heart and sending it forth so there may be a new you developing over the next six months especially with next month's new moon in Leo being an eclipse that usually brings up things that are in our subconscious to the surface some of you are going to be giving birth to a new self a new definition of yourself um, could be a creative project because that's also ruled by Leo. Children is also fifth house Leo. So uh, 
romance, true love, that's all governed by Leo energy. So because for you, Leo, this new moon is in your first house, that's new self, new identity, new creative expression, new heart. And that's, I kind of get the sense it's going to be a new you developing over the next six months. So enjoy that. There's a lot of potential energy in this one, Leo. Um, for Virgo, this new moon in Leo is happening in your 12th house of the unconscious. So what this, what this, shows is there's a lot of creative potential energy, especially related to your dreams, Virgo. The 12th house is usually related to um, mysticism, spirituality, connecting to the divine source, um, the dreams, the unconscious world. So with this new moon in Leo, you have a lot of potential here to begin something that is relevant to your dreams, to uh, maybe long-term dreams, to things that tap into your unconscious or your subconscious, things that have been buried below the surface. And you have this creative potential energy to plant a seed there and watch this develop over the course of the next six months, especially as we get into the eclipse next month, the new moon in Leo. There's, for you, especially with it being in your 12th house of the unconscious, it may bring something from the unconscious to the surface. And you've got a lot of energy to bring to that. It's almost like growing a new heart regarding something that has to do with themes of your dreams, things to do with your unconscious, things to do with um, things that connect you to your spirituality. So enjoy this new moon in Leo Virgo. Plant a new seed towards something that gives you new courage, new heart, new expression, all those Leonine themes, new confidence, new boldness, uh, again, new expression, something that's connected to your dreams, to greater spirituality, something that brings up something from the unconscious or the subconscious. That's really where this moon is shining. And the moon has to do with emotional energy. So really a new heart regarding something to do with your dreams, something to do with spirituality, mysticism, something that from the unconscious or the subconscious is coming up um, for you over the course of the next six months. Enjoy that, Virgo. For Libra, this new moon in Leo is happening in your 11th house of friendships, of humanity, of networking. This is going to give you new courage in terms of your friendships, of your connections, of networking, Libra. This is really like new fire um, happening in your house of friendships and humanity. You may show up in a new way in terms of who you choose as a new group, new friends that you make. I'm really getting that you're getting new courage to, to create and branch out for a new network for yourself, Libra. Um, there's a lot of Mars active energy there, taking action on, on creating new networks, creating new friendships, creating a new definition of how you participate with humanity. So it could be a really bold time for you. Um, and this, this is gonna be echoed in next month's um, solar eclipse on August 21st. So there's going to be a real time of transition happening over the next six months. And this is just the precursor to it. So if you're experiencing desires to have new friends, new networks, uh, new innovations, that's also 11th house energy. This new moon in Leo is going to help you towards that. For Scorpio, this uh, new moon in Leo is in your 10th house of career, of reputation, of aspirations, accomplishments, things that you would like to accomplish. This is gonna give you a lot of fire energy in your career, Scorpio. So if there's something that you wanna accomplish, if there's something that you desire, if there's something that you um, want to complete or a goal that you want to go towards, this new moon in Leo is like a torch, a fire, fire engine almost like that can take you towards accomplishing that goal. So if there's something that you've wanted to, to achieve, accomplish in your career sector or regarding your career, regarding your outer status, your outer reputation, this is a wonderful time to begin that Scorpio. Um, for Sagittarius, this new moon in Leo is happening in your ninth house. Now this is the natural placement 
of Sagittarius. And this is a lot of fire energy because we've got a trine going on in fire. It's going on with Leo, with Aries, and with you, Sag. This is Saturn is where the placement of Saturn's now in uh, Sagittarius trining this new moon in Leo that's conjunct Mars and the sun. It's so much fire. It's giving you foundation in your first house of the self and it's trining your, your sign of higher learning, the, um, the house of higher learning for you. So it's foundations and it's sort of like you're up leveling Sag, it's like you're going to, you're learning something new in a powerful, prominent way. And if there's something that you wanted to publish, if there's something that you wanted to share with the other, with the outside world, now is a wonderful time to begin that. If you wanted to begin travel plans, that's also featured by your natal, your natal house. But we've got a sort of like a fiery sun burning in this, um, ninth house and it's conjoining your emotional world it's conjoining you know you may have a real desire remember the moon rules our our emotions um to branch out to do higher learning to publish to travel all those sagittarian themes that's all showing up for you higher learning wonderful time to begin uh learning something new and it's really going to help you in the foundations of yourself Sag, I sometimes, I, in some ways I'm getting the image for you that it's, you're like on a ship that is just being built and it's taking you towards that horizon with, with all this fire behind it. So enjoy that, Sag. Um, for Capricorn, this new moon in Leo is happening in your eighth house of transformation. So there's a lot of fiery energy here. Now this could be, Capricorn, I'm really getting for you that this could be like feeling like you're being burned down in order to rise from the ashes. This could be really challenging for some of you Capricorns. It may feel like, um, it could be challenging, but it could also be very hopeful. It's almost like gonna be growing a new heart, Capricorn. It may feel like you're being consumed by the fire in some way, but it's to give birth to a new heart, to new energy, new creative um, pursuits. Anything that has to do with Leonine themes, being on stage, putting putting forth something anything coming from the heart um this is really going to help you transform eighth house is all about death and rebirth so with all this fire it's almost like i'm getting like there's this sort of hellishness that you're going to go through but you come out of it with all this fire as like the phoenix and you rise from the ashes it's like it's almost like something's burning you down and catapulting you up um so in fact, it's almost I'm getting the image of a fire burning through a rope, and then that rope releases something that catapults you forward. So it's it's intense energy, Capricorn, for you, but it could it's very transformational. So enjoy that, Capricorn. Um, for Aquarius, this new moon in Leo is happening in your seventh house of partnership. So there's a lot of passion here. Aquarius, if you're looking to find a partner who's passionate, this is a fantastic time. Or it may just ignite a new time of passion with your current partner because we've got the sun in Leo, the moon in Leo, and Mars in Leo. Moon represents our emotions. Mars is an activating principle. It's fiery. It's, it's warrior-like. It's passionate. It's about action. So taking action regarding your partnerships. Now, whether, again, that's either finding a new partner or, or starting a cycle with your current partner that's full of passion and activity. Your, your seventh house is on fire, Aquarius. So enjoy that. Um, lots of romance potential going on there. And this, this is going to be echoed next month as well with the eclipse in, the, um, in Leo. And so just be careful that it doesn't get too out of hand. Sometimes too much fire energy can show up as argumentativeness or, you know, just open conflict or warfare. But when, it, when fire energy is harnessed, it can be very productive. It can be very powerful. And this is at zero degrees Leo as well. So it's got extra energy, extra oomph with that Mars conjunction there as well. For Pisces, this new moon in Leo is showing up in your sixth house of work of your day-to-day -day schedules, of your health, 
of your routines, of um, you know, day-to-day -day life. So it's a wonderful time. You've got all this extra energy and push and drive and action to take to begin something new in those areas. For example, if some of you wanted to start a new health regime, uh, a new workout um, schedule, uh, or even start a new job, start a new calendar, a new schedule, day, your day-to-day -day processes. This is a wonderful time to do it. It's almost like you've got all this energy just pushing you forward and, and lighting up your sixth house. If you want to start something new that's regarding your health, wonderful time to do this. It's like you've got a lion it's sitting in your corner who's, got, who's holding like a stick of fire and just saying, let's go. I'm, I'm here to help you with this. So new moon in Leo, new desires, um, to begin something new regarding your health, your daily routines, work. Some of you may be des desiring a new job or, or desiring a new schedule. Wonderful time to begin that, Pisces. And it could lead to something that has results over the course of the next six months. Some of you are, are changing up your work schedules and routines. Um, for Aries, wonderful time for romance, Aries. This is new moon in Leo in the house of Leo, conjunct Mars, your ruling planet. This is time to like light all the fires in terms of creative projects, love, romance, children. Um, this is like all systems go. This is like the fires are burning. So Aries, when this shows up, because there's so much fire here and you're a fire sign as well, the only thing that I will say about this is that you want to be careful that it's not having to do with too much Mars energy, which can show up as um, fighting or verbal conflict or aggression. But if you harness this energy, it's like a new heart is beating. Leo wants to roar. Leo wants to shake its mane. Leo wants to say, I am here. Watch me. Hear me. I'm, I'm, on, I'm on fire. So your fifth house of creativity, socializing, um, wanting the best of everything, participating in romance, true love, it is here. It is on fire for you, Aries. So contain the fire, apply it towards something, and you just have this wonderful push of fire energy to use for whatever, to light it, to light something up. It's a wonderful igniting uh, energy, Aries. For Taurus, this new moon in Leo is happening in your fourth house of the home. So this is giving you a lot of energy to um, do something regarding your home. Maybe it's revamping your home. Maybe it's moving to a new home. Maybe it is uh, having someone new show up in your home that has this fiery energy if things have felt stagnant or cold. It's, it's just a lot of life and vitality in your home sector. So maybe it means that you're throwing parties at home. That is Leo energy. Leo wants to socialize. Leo wants to be on stage. Leo... Leo wants to participate fully in life. So I'm really getting that your home has a kind of a spotlight on it or that it's that you're, you may be beginning to sow the seeds of creation and fruition and heart energy in your home. That's going to be a real focus for you um, over the course of the next six months for whatever you begin. If you want to add something onto your home, redecorate, it's going to be a wonderful time to begin that and watch the effects of that happen over the next six months, Leo. I mean, <laughs> Taurus, for your fourth house in Leo, um, new moon in Leo, in your fourth house. For Cancer, this, sorry, I almost skipped Gemini. Um, for Gemini, this New moon in Leo is happening in your third house of communication. This is your, your home house, Gemini. You rule the third house. So this is really all about new communications, new words. You're going to have a lot of energy, vitality, heart energy, fire for communicating. You might find a whole new way of communicating, Gemini. This is going to be so healing for you um, because... Leo rules the heart, the solar plexus, the expression, roaring forth, being energized, being full of life, having courage, having boldness, having daring. You're going to find a new boldness, potentially, Gemini, in the way that you express yourself and the way that you use words. 
you're going to develop this confidence is what I'm seeing, or that you have the potential to develop a confidence in the way that you express yourself and a, and a sort of regality because Leon, Leo is the king. Leo comes forth in a regal, confident manner. So if you set those intentions, um, Gemini, of the way that you communicate, you may find new words. You may find a completely new way of communicating. Some of you may even take up a new language when this new moon in Leo comes forth. But it's really all about being social, communicating, um, expressing yourself in a really sort of mature, regal confident bold way you have the seeds for that that's also going to be happening for you over the next six months because we've got that eclipse with the the moon um next month also so that's going to be a huge theme for you guys uh for cancer this new moon in leo is happening in your second house of possessions of assets of the body things that you own so new moon in leo is giving you real drive real fire, real passion towards something that you want to bring to yourself. Now, whether that's a tangible thing, um, whether it's a quality, an abstract quality that you want to bring to yourself, it, it's saying that you may develop some desires of like, I really want to have this certain thing, whether it's a relationship, something that's a tangible asset, whether it's a quality, like I really want to develop patience or integrity or whatever the quality is that you want to own and have. New Moon and Leo gives you real fire, real drive, real vitality towards achieving that. And this is just like planting the seed of that. We're saying, you know, if I want this type of body, um, second house is all about money, the body, tangible things, assets. It may give you new drive to create money um, or, or want Leo wants the best of everything. So this may really give you some desires towards achieving those things that you view to be like the best of everything. I want the champagne. I want the gold. I want the, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be materialistic things, but Leo really enjoys um, the best things in life. So this may be giving you new desires towards that. Um, Regardless, there's lots of fire energy in your second house, a lot of motivation. Some of you have been really motivated to make money or to take care of your body or anything related to tangible realm things. This is going to give you real impetus, real drive, um, a new heart towards your second house, new heart towards the body, new heart towards money, new courage, new daring, new boldness, all of that. So enjoy that, Cancer. You can see some nice results over the course of the next six months. So that's my reading for everyone for this new moon in Leo. Enjoy the, the courageousness, the new heart energy that's, that's coming forth, um, the boldness, the daring, the, the fire, essentially, the light, the liveliness um, that Leo cr creates and expresses. Thank you, everyone, so much for tuning in. As always, Yours in the stars.